Hey guys, so here is my um, postpartum video for week one and baby Bella's update for week one as well. I'm going to start with Bella first, um, but I want to say thank you guys for watching my last two videos on my labor and delivery. I know they were a little bit long, um, but I wanted to get the story out there. Also, if my mom is watching this or my boyfriend or my friend who is there, I want to really tell you guys thank you so much. Words can't describe the team effort that they did with me in the labor and delivery. It was rough, but they were there all the way. My mom held my hand. She looked me dead in my eyes and coached me through the whole entire process. My mom should be a life coach, but she's my life coach. She's my labor and delivery coach. She's my everything. And I appreciate her and Nate sticking in there, massaging them pains up my back. <laughs> and my friend being my held in my throat a bowl. So, I just want to say that. Now, down to week one. So, I'm going to start with Bella. Alright. So, this, for week one, um, basically, I don't have a lot to update you guys on because it's just the norm. She just eats, sleeps, pees, and poops. And she sometimes wants to be held, and that's it. Um, Bella is a breastfed baby. I do breastfeed her exclusively. Um, and that all began in the hospital. When I had her, they put her, let me do the skin-to-skin -skin contact with her. Um, the first latch on was a little, a little hard. It wasn't like to the point she didn't do it. It was just keeping her on there. Um, and then maybe like by the time we left, me and her, she had a good latch. Now the thing is keeping her to the point where she'll keep eating, okay? Um, and on a consistent basis. Now, her poop with breastfeeding is different than formula fed babies. Her poop went from being like the marconium, the dark black stuff to now like a mustardy color mustardy seedy texture like color um and it doesn't really have a smell to it it smells but not as bad as it would if it was formula from what i hear but um she takes to my breast very well i do enjoy the experience because it allows me and bella a time to bond and I thought that it was going to be rough and hard for her to continue to stay latched on when we got home from the hospital. But she does really well. Like, we probably just now have gotten a routine for me and for her. Meaning that on one feed, I do the right breast. And then when it's time for her to eat again, I do the left breast. And then so forth and so forth and so forth. The most important thing that I was advised when it comes to breastfeeding is that they have enough wet diapers and poopy diapers. Well, she has a lot of. OMG. Um, she's already, it's been a week, and we had gotten 84 diapers, and we only, and we're out of that, we're about to be out of that box already, and about to move on to another box. But the boxes that Daddy bought were size 1. And we only had like a box of newborns and what we got from the hospital. And she's already about to go through that. So that's telling you, she's doing pretty good with these pee pee and poo poo diapers. <laughs> they want them to have at least 8 to 12 changes of diapers a day. And also have, um, what else did they say? I forgot. Anyways, but yeah. So breastfeeding is going cool. I love it. it let us bond. I look at her. She look at me. I hold her hand, I talk to her, you know. But one thing is for sure, Bella hates getting her diaper changed. OMG. She do not like getting her diaper changed at all. She hates it a lot. Um, she loves getting her hair washed, though. Um, I do sponge bath her because her umbilical cord thingy thing is still on there. Um, so I'm not immersing her in water until that falls off. But she likes getting her hair washed. And I was... I wash it with um, Johnson's and then I was told by my mom to put baby oil in it but the baby oil seemed to dry out her hair so I just put my design essentials oil in her hair and it's all natural oil so it's not harming her or anything like that and it keeps her hair juicy like them curls juicy and that's what I've been using in her hair and it seems to work fine um, what's another thing about Bella 
Um, hold on, she's doing something kind of funny. Okay, anyways. Um, anyway, she's always hungry, yeah. So we feed a lot. As far as her sleeping, baby sleep like 17, newborn sleep like 17 or 19 hours a day. So she's usually sleeping unless she wants to eat or something like that. Um, or snack on my boobs. <laughs> Um, she was born with a skin tag on her ear, right here. I'll show it to you guys, but she was born with a skin tag. And I'm going to get that removed. It's just like an extra, like some people, when they're born, they're born like an extra finger, or extra digit, or some extra piece of flesh. Like I was born with something here that they had to have removed, but I don't think that has to do with that. Okay, why did I bring it up? Anyways, but I'm going to get that removed. Um... And it's not going to be painful, but I'll show it to you guys. Because my br it's it from my side of the family. My brother had it. Quite a few people from my family get these skin tags when they're born. So we'll get that removed. Um, let me see what else. Belly did come out light. I came out light-skinned it. But I thought she was going to be a chocolate little thing. But looking at her ears, she's going to be like my complexion. And the reason why I thought she was going to be chocolate, because if you look at her dad, he's dark-complected to me. And I'm car like a brown caramel color, I guess. I don't know. Um, so I thought that that's what she was going to, you know, be darker, but it don't look that way. And she has gray eyes. Her daddy's eyes are like a real light brown color. So they said like if the baby's eyes are gray, then the baby will have, um, hazel eyes or light brown eyes. Sorry guys, I'm like looking at her and doing this video at the same time. Okay. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else do I want to tell you about Miss Bella? Um... This is before I get into this doctor's appointment that did not go so well. So that's basically it with her. Eat, pee, eat, pee poop, sleep, life and times, Bella. Um, she had her first appointment. And remember I told you guys, you know, the pediatrician was somebody that I had as my pediatrician. Well, I don't really like the visit. You know, I guess my doctor has spoiled me because I expect that when, you know, when I'm having questions or concerns first of all you don't forget my question and leave out the room without answering it and then secondly that you educate me on different things i'm a new mother you know and the questions that i have i don't want you to just say like for instance i say is the sky blue and you say yes well tell me why the sky is blue you know what i mean like it was just very short and it seemed scripted. Like she came in the room and she just was like, hi, the baby's gonna do this, this and that and the other, and this is that, and that is this, bye. It wasn't like, how are you doing? How's the baby doing? Um, what questions do you have? I had to say, well, I have a few questions I need to ask you type thing. So I decided that I'm gonna switch her pediatrician to someone else. Um, with my With my healthcare, that I have my insurance, they have a, um, I, don't, I don't know what you would call them, but they're like pediatricians on call or RNs and things like that. They work in that field um, in delivery, labor and delivery. And they will call you from your, you know, they work for the insurance provider. They'll call you to check on you. And she called me to check on me and I had so many different questions and things like that. And she was just so helpful. She did more than what my doctor did and it was over the phone. So she was able to give me some contact information on some top rated pediatricians here where I live. And so I called them and just by the conversation on the phone, she did everything I, I, I wanted her to do without me asking as far as anticipating my need as far as my questions that I had, me being a new mother. So I really did appreciate that. And hopefully that will display in the pediatrician that she referred me to, which she said is also her daughter's pediatrician. So wish me luck, guys. Their appointment will be October 20th. This is going to be her second appointment um, that she will have. And hopefully I have a better experience. Um... Let me see what else. Oh, she had her newborn photo shoot. And everybody was like, wait, take that baby outside. Da, 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 da. I didn't take her outside. The, the photographer came to my house. So I will be posting those photos soon of Bella. Um, they are so beautiful. They're very artistic. They're not like just Bella with her eyes open like, you know, it's artistic photos, like the ones where, you know, they have them propped up, they have the little hats on, they're in the little bowls, you know. It's very artistic and beautiful, so I look forward to sharing those with you guys. Um, 
let me see what else can I update you guys on her I think that's about it it'll come to me I'll get I'll get this thing going eventually um, but that's basically it when it comes to Miss Bella oh and her skin is starting to peel so I'm not I was using baby oil on her skin but now I'm using just like the baby Vaseline okay now to me I had I did tear in my vaginal area so I have two stitches and they are painful it's sore down there I've been using they give you this bottle that you can use to air it out like to rinse off because they don't want you using any kind of soaps or anything like that when you've had some type of a piece any type of tear or episiotomy or however you say it or stitches you have to just use the spray bottle every time I have to use the bot the bathroom and that's it and I don't like that because I like to clean so I have been kind of I haven't like put soap down there but I do like in or in the surrounding areas put soap there but um it's very uncomfortable guys and I've had to use ice packs and I've taken Vicodin everything because it's it is uncomfortable um but it's been going so far away with her breastfeeding as far as the bleeding is concerned the, the breastfeeding causes your brain to create the um, natural form of pitocin, which is oxytocin, and it causes your uterus to contract, causing the bleeding to stop and you to heal a little bit faster. So I, today is, what, a week and a day from the hospital, and my bleeding basically is gone. So I have a, I'm using panty liners, and I'm not even using pads. So hopefully, you know, that's it <laughs> with the bleeding. Um, also, my stomach is really gone down. I'm going to show it to you guys. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of stretch marks. I think I only got like one or two above my belly button, but it's not really noticeable, noticeable. Um, and it's a little dark, but I'm planning on toning that up. Mm -hmm. Um, what else? I think I have, a, like I said, a lot of patience with babies and probably just because I have little sisters that I used to have to look after. So when she cries and wants to get in the middle of the night, I'll be tired, but it's, I'm her mom and I got to do it. So I do it. Um, and I'm trying to do what they say. When a baby sleep, you need to sleep. But it's so hard because I just can't help it. I just stare at her because she's so cute. And I just look at her and just play in her hair. <laughs> she's my little baby doll. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you guys my stomach. Um, let me see what else. Emotionally, I think I'm doing fine. I'm not thinking of doing anything crazy or anything like that. I pray. I, you know, have, I have been, but I can't say this. I have been having, like, nightmares. Really evil nightmares. I don't know if it has to do with my hormones being off or, or you know, trying to adjust. But they've been kind of bad. So, pray for me, guys, with that. Um, also, let me see what else. I wanted to tell you guys. Oh, my hormones being that they are adjusting, I have been having like night sweats and hot and cold flashes. Like I'll be real, real, real hot. Then all of a sudden I'll be real, real, real cold. So I have been going through that. Um, let me see. Is there anything else before this video runs out? I think that's it. I ain't gonna lie, y'all kind of miss my belly. <laughs> I miss my belly. I kind of miss. I think it's just because I've been pregnant for so long. It's like, oh. It's gone. But I have Bella now, and that's the best thing ever, right? Oh, they said I can't drive for two weeks, so I haven't been able to go home, go out or do anything. So my mom, she's been cooking and bringing food and, you know, bringing everything I need and been coming over here helping me with the baby and everything like that. So, okay, I'm going to show you guys my stomach real quick, and then we're going to spend a little bit of time with Princess Bella. Look at my stomach. Where'd it go? Where did it go? This is with my shirt on. Five heartbeats in the background. Yep, yep. All right, here's my stomach. One week, one day. It's really kind of like soft and flabby. It's got like no kind of like muscle tone to it at all. Um, still have my line. It's just a little dark. I don't even see these stretch marks. They're kind of like right here. So you let me see. Can you see? There you go. And that's it. It's kind of flabby. Um, all right, guys. Let's look at Bella. Yay! 
So she's sleeping now. And she sleeps with her mouth open. She's, you see, she's going through all her facial expressions. Alright guys, so that's it for our week one update. I don't know how often I'm going to do these videos. I might, I was thinking about doing them by doctor's appointments, but sometimes the doctor's appointments are so stretched out. So, um, me doing postpartum videos and things like that. I might do them weekly, bi-weekly. I'm not sure. You guys let me know how often you would like to see the videos. And then I will do them as you guys request me to do them. <laughs> Anyways, I want to say thank you. Oh, she's smiling. I want to say thank you to everybody that has, um, watched all my videos and stood in there with me and you know this has been a journey and it's been a beautiful journey and you guys have stuck through there all the way up until Bella's here so I hope that I mean I don't know if I'm going to do these videos all the time and you know do postpartums up until she's one or you know updates on her it just depends on what you guys want if you like seeing me and the baby and watching her grow um <laughs> she's so she's so funny but anyways so just let me know and that will be it we're gonna go she's getting feisty <laughs> okay guys bye let's do it <gasps> oh. got to be a Gemini girl